just heading into Kohl's. The new Juice Couture collection came out, so I'm gonna go check it out. I'm like trying to film, and there's like people right there, and they're completely in the way. So annoying. I'm looking at the collection though. It's okay. Um, I don't know. I was never like big into the track suits, which Issa was, so she wants me to kind of look at them for her. She doesn't like the uh, designed ones, she likes the plain ones, and they don't have any plain ones, but. I didn't know Kohl's sold school supplies. Like, that's really weird. Frozen stuff. I love Frozen because it's Norwegian. Or they're from Norway. Aww. This shirt is so cute. Oh my gosh. I know. That's why trying them on. It's like adorable. I want it so badly. Oh my god. My two favorite things Halloween and Halloween. Oh my god, I want to try those. Cookie dough, ooh. I love Oreos, they're like my favorite cookie. And they're like vegan, which is kind of weird. Just grocery shopping with my mom. That is the cutest thing ever. He's dressed as a ghost. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. My bag like takes over this entire baby cart. <laughs> it's pretty funny. No groceries are gonna fit in here now. Issa got us into watching Orange is the New Black. What do you think of it? It's so weird. Really? But it's like, it's a good weird. Like, I, I don't know, it's... <laughs> I mean, I only watched like part of the first episode. It seemed think, really weird. But I think we're way behind on the trend. Yeah, we're on like episode four of season one now. Yeah, or I am. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, so I have to catch up. But it's just like when we started watching um, Arrested Development, you just watched the whole season without me. And I just like, I still never finished it. I heard the last season was really, really bad though. Once Netflix took it over, it kind of... Plummeted downhill. Downhill. I mean, this last episode just ended so weird. But, like, they're all... Her life's just getting worse and worse in jail. Which is... Apparently it's a memoir. It's, like, based on a true story and everything. In case you didn't know that. Yeah, I looked it up. I really hope... Nothing against lesbians, but I hope she stays with the fiancé. Like, I'm hoping it's gonna be happy. Like, I mean... Like, if, if, she, he, if he dumps her, because it's like, sorry, you're in jail, I want, like, someone real, it's so sad. Yeah, I know. So, like, but I'll have to start watching it again. So I, the other day when I went to Stop and Shop, I forgot to grab my non-dairy pizza. This is the brand I like, the Tofini milk-free pizza. And then I got meatballs because my mom is making homemade sauce, and they're going to have meatballs, and I'm going to have my meatless meatballs. Like I said in the other vlog, this is my favorite, like, vegan brand. These are so good, too. And I've had real meatballs, and I think they taste pretty good and close. Hey guys, so I just filmed in Ursula's room. You can't even see me, but this is her dorm room. I'll have the video up on my main channel. I just took some Oreos. I love Oreos. They're my favorite. But her room's cute. I'll give you guys a little preview. But I definitely put up a full video on my channel. We're just moving her back in. She came home for the weekend, and she's going to get her friend or something. I don't know. I told them I had to film, so they weren't allowed in. But like, how nice is this door? Like, so we're just at the Olive Garden. The building's, like, so cute here. Just getting some food before we almost home, but you know, just something for dinner. I feel like such a tourist, the people that are probably like, What have you never seen an olive garden before? <laughs> so, I really wanted, I think it was this one. No, I don't know which one I wanted now, but it had like a cream salt. So, yeah, it was this one. But instead, I'm gonna go with the uh, trout, you know, a different type of fish. I normally do not get trout. The olive garden is so cute. Seriously, so much food. This is like an entire piece of fish, but it looks really good. And then my mom got uh, eggplant parmesan. I'm so excited for it. I don't know. I like this place. They were a little cheap, though. The guy was like, it's 75 cents for a sample of wine. And I was like, awkward. So I know that I complained about 75 cents, but those people over there are actually arguing about not being able to get unlimited salad and soup. Wow, so that's unbelievably cheap. Cold stone, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, I was literally having the most awkward time finding somewhere to start vlogging or just vlogging, walking around. So I usually sometimes like sit in one area and I was like, let me just sit there. Actually, I've only sat there once and vlogged, but I was like, I'll sit there and there's like a million people around. But then I realized on the opposite side, there was another, um, not sitting area, but another open area and I thought there'd be seats, but uh, nope, there is no one around. I was like, oh, now I just look like a weirdo. So I just kind of walked in this hole. I've seen the people up there looking at me. But I actually don't really care about that. That doesn't make me feel as uncomfortable as like walking around. So I mean, I'm just looking like a weirdo, but I guess really it's a stranger who really cares what they think. I have to like work on that for vlogging. I don't care about other stuff, but for vlogging, it's very uncomfortable. Because I have an iPad. Maybe if I had a camera, it wouldn't feel as weird. It's just, I feel it's huge. 
But what I'm trying to say is I never end these vlogs, and I'm very sorry that I don't, so I was going to just kind of end it, but I did want to say a funny story. Last night, me and my mom went to Cold Stone to kind of end our little road trip to drive us to the college. And we went to one Cold Stone, and they didn't have a sorbet flavor I liked, so I was like, before we drive to another one, I'll just call and see if they have a flavor I like. And I call, and the guy answers, and I guess he didn't realize what I asked him, so I was like, oh, what sorbet flavors do you have? And he starts naming off all the ice cream flavors, and I'm like, no, that's not what I want, and I'm probably... I'm sure he was like, you're an idiot, why are you asking about ice cream flavors, but I wanted just a sorbet, and they had the one I liked, but he put someone else on the phone, and she was like, oh, that's what you wanted to know, because I guess they were like laughing, like, haha, why is this girl on all the ice cream flavors or whatever, I don't know, but he literally started listing them all off, and I just really wanted the sorbets, but I'm on my lunch break, got a coffee, I was so tired, um, I don't even know what I'm in the mood for to eat, I had like, um, a little something but I might just get like some hummus or something I don't know so we're going out to dinner tonight I've been like eating out so much like I never eat out but it was like Ursula's birthday and then we like drove Ursula back to college so we obviously ate out then and then it's my mom's birthday so we're going out to eat for that so normally that's like a rare occurrence and I always feel weird whenever I watch someone's vlog or I don't actually feel weird but I always think it's a little weird when all they do is show their food and I'm like do you do anything else so that's what I'm worried my videos are starting to look like but gonna end this clip and I'm really behind on these vlogs so they're like a combination of like a bunch of days but I'm like really really behind